Hello friends, and today we shall be discussing about something really interesting and that is, yes, multi-label and multi-class classification in machine learning. So quite similar terms, but there is a slight difference, you know. So let's just first start with what is multi-class classification in machine learning. So multi-class classification means that you are you want to classify more than two classes. That why it is that's why it is multi, right? So we've done several examples of multi-class classification, like IDAS data set, wherein we have to classify the three species of IDAS that is into Setosa, Vasicala, and Virginica. And this, as you can see here, the penguin penguin data set, the three species again you have to classify into Edley, Gen2, and Gen Strip. So the basic assumption what this classification, multi-class classification algorithm or this makes is that one example or one data set would belong to only one class. It cannot belong to more than two classes. Okay. So so like this uh, penguin like Edelie would belong, a species or a penguin would belong either to Edelie or to Gen2 or to Gen Strep. It cannot belong to more than two species of penguin. That is but obvious and evident in real life scenarios, right? So what happens here is that uh, your task, your multi-label classification task is to classify the data set into more than two labels, right? So you're working with more than several multiple labels that is multi-class classification, okay? Now we come to multi-label classification. So uh, don't get confused with this multi-multi. Multi means more than two, right? Otherwise it would have been binary. Now you're working with multi-label. That means again, your classification, your problem is being, again, you can break down into more than two labels. If you're working with more than two labels. So your data, I would say that each sample is being assigned a set of labels. Like, for example, the classic example is your text classification. And now, a text can belong either to different news, like it could be political news, it could be educative, it could be informative, it could be relating to your current affairs. So a single test, single text is belonging to several categories, several labels. Similarly, when you're writing a blog, your blog has multiple tags, multiple labels. That means it is belonging to various labels. When you upload a video on YouTube, it is belonging to different labels. It is belonging to different categories. So that is multi-label classification. You give various reviews and you write pros, cons, you're neutral, you're angry. So these different tones and emotions are also example of multi-label classification. So when you're doing the sentiment analysis, when you're doing the text label classification in NLP and NTK, you are using this multi-label classification, okay? So here comes this thing. And in machine learning, generally we use multi-class classification. Now we move on to the algorithms which are used for both multi-label and multi-class classification let's first deal with what are the algorithms which are used common for both in sklearn and python there's a list of algorithms which are common for both and they have been mentioned i'll provide the link in the description box don't worry about that but uh, let's just discuss a few algorithms which like go well with both like it is a random forest classifier you have good decision tree you've got name bias they have they work really well you know in and uh, classifying multi-label and multi-class classification problems now i come to uh, one more thing which i mentioned here is that soft max regression which works well in deep learning when you're working with multi-class classification and the another one is multi-nominal um, regression which is in machine learning when you're dealing with multi-class classification problems so if you want to like uh, really boil down to good algorithms so you can just go ahead and prefer these algorithms soft max for deep learning and multi-nominal for your machine learning problems when you're dealing with multi-class classification problems. So this brings me to an end of this video. And in the next video, we shall be discussing about Edley in Python. So stay tuned and thanks for watching.